We're going to take a break from the callers and we're going to look at one of the areas which will definitely be examinable and that is the equation of a tangent to a circle. Now I want you to focus because you're writing two papers at the end of the year. In paper one you have to deal with the equation of the tangent and in paper two you have to deal with the equation of the tangent. Paper one deals with the equation of a tangent to a curve which is generally a function. So you work with the derivative f dashed of x. However, in paper two, we work with the equation of the tangent to a circle, and the circle is not a function, and we tackle it completely differently to the equation of the tangent question in paper one. So bear in mind that equation of tangent will be asked in paper one and paper two, and our approach is very different in each case because we're going to be asked for the equation of a tangent to a curve, a function in paper one, where we're going to use the derivative. And in paper two, we're going to be asked for the equation of a tangent to a circle, where we're going to use a very different idea, but certainly not the derivative. Okay, so let's look at the screen and see what we've got on the screen. We have a circle which is turning, I mean, which has a center point at minus 2, 1. And the uh, equation of the um, circle is given by x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals to r squared. We are given a point, we are, you can see this line, it's a tangent, right? It's a tangent to the circle, and we told that that point is minus 3 and 3. So we are told that the tangent is a tangent to the circle at minus 3, 3, and the center of that circle is minus 2, 1. You know, the equation of the tangent to a circle is actually a very simple idea. All you have to know, what is the theory? that we have to know to be able to answer this question. We have to know that if we've got a circle and we have a tangent, the line from the center, what do we call that line from the center? Radius. What do we know about the radius and the tangent to a circle? We know that it hits at 90 degrees. And then, if we know that two lines are cutting each other at 90 degrees, what does that mean about their gradients? It means that the gradient of the rad, gradient of the radius, times the gradient of the tan is in fact minus 1. Because remember from analytical geometry, if we've got two lines that are perpendicular to each other, then the product of their gradients is minus 1. If we multiply the gradients together, we get minus 1. So, radius is perpendicular to tangent. Therefore, if we take the gradient of the radius and we multiply it, to the gradient of the tangent, we are going to get minus 1. And that's great. Look here. We have two points, minus 2, 1 and minus 3, 3. And the question wants us to find the equation of the tangent to that circle. Find the equation of the tangent to that circle. So let's have a look. The gradient of the radius is... The radius is this line right over here. So let's work out the gradient of that radius. We have two points on it, minus 3, 3 and minus 2, 1. So the gradient of the radius is given by the y minus the y, y minus the y, over the x minus the x. So the x, y minus y over x minus x. And because the x is minus 2, when we go minus minus, it becomes a plus. And we get 2 over minus 1, which is in fact minus 2. So the gradient of the radius is minus 2. But we know 
that the radius is in fact perpendicular to the tangent. There we go. So what happens then? We know from our theory that the gradient of the tangent multiplied to the gradient of the radius is in fact minus 1. So if the gradient of the radius is minus 2, what does that tell us about the gradient of the tangent? It tells us that the gradient of the tangent is from minus to plus, so that a plus and a minus is minus, and from 2 over 1 to 1 over 2. We turn it around. So 2 over 1 becomes 1 over 2, because now when we multiply these two together, we get minus 1. So we've got the gradient of the straight line tangent, and now all we have to do is we have to find the equation. And the equation is given by, on the formula sheet, you have this formula. In the exam, on the formula sheet, you have this formula on the formula sheet. And this formula just really does give you the equation of a line once you know the gradient. So we know the gradient and what are y1 and x1? y1 and x1 is simply a point on the line. And there you have it. That is our equation of the tangent. So nice and short and simple. y minus 3 is a half x plus 3. And we can multiply that out if we like and write it as y equals. It's not necessary. If the question asks for it, we'll give it in standard form. So to recap very quickly, the equation of a tangent. Essentially, what are the basic ideas that we will need? We will need to understand that we've got a circle. On the circle, or drawn to the circle, we will have a tangent. And we are going to simply work out the gradient of the radius. Once we know the gradient of the radius, we use the fact that there is a 90 degree between the radius and the tangent to give us the gradient of the tangent. So from this, we start off working out the gradient of the radius because we've got two points. From this formula here, we get the gradius, gradient of the tan. And finally, we use this formula on the formula sheet to end off with the equation, equation of the tangent. M we will have, Y1 and X1, that will be this point right over here. It's the point on the tangent and the circle. There you have it, equation of a tangent explained simply to you and hopefully you understand it a bit better. <laughs>